Long before the Wright brothers launched at Kitty Hawk, the first heavier-than-air flight in history took place in Boston in 1757. John Childs made three flights from the steeple of Boston's Old North Church before the town fathers grounded him. The first aerial photo in the U.S. was taken in 1860 by James Black from a balloon tethered 1,200 feet above Boston Common. From the beginning, Massachusetts has played a major role in aviation and space. The first licensed aircraft manufacturer in the United States was in Marblehead, and in 1910, the first airplane in New England, the Burgess Biplane, flew over the salt marshes of Plum Island. Spaceflight began in 1926 from atop one of Worcester's seven hills, when on a cold March morning, Dr. Robert Goddard fired off the world's first liquid-fueled rocket. And a Massachusetts son, President John Kennedy, stunned the world when his goal of putting a man on the moon became reality in 1969. It was possible thanks to the navigational inventions of Dr. Charles Draper of MIT in spacecraft protected by heat shields from Avco and Lowell and spacesuits from the David Clark Company in Worcester. Now, in the 21st century, American leadership in science and technology has become the driving force of economic growth and defense superiority. But what will inspire our youth to become the leading scientists and engineers of tomorrow? How many of our younger generation will populate Massachusetts' world-leading educational institutions to enable continued American leadership? There's a lot of ways to teach or excite young students into to learn about science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. But, you know, as we all know, aviation and aerospace is probably one of the most exciting ways to get young people interested in, and uh, inspire them and give them uh, a better understanding of the applied science. Collaborating with the FAA and Massport, the museum's programs can become a national model for getting children excited about the STEM subjects of science, technology, engineering, and math. By showcasing local achievements that forever changed history, our teaching museum will be inviting and relatable to inspire and motivate Massachusetts youth. You know, young people don't get an epiphany. They don't have an epiphany at the, the certain age. Ah. I want to be uh, a scientist, or ah, I want to be uh, a pilot, or I'm, I'm going to be, uh, I, I want to go to space. They don't all of a sudden get that at age 22. And if they do, it's a little bit too late. They have to, they have to hear that and see that and get excited about that at four, five, six, seven, eight years old, nine years old. By the time they're 10 years old, they're already applying that interest and saying, wow, there's a real world application of math. That's why I have to learn that. There are countries out there who are more advanced in some technologies than we are. And we've lost that, some of that by not preparing our educational systems to meet the challenge and inspiring our youth that there are challenges and get them interested. They have to have hands-on experience they have to have role models set, hey, I can do that. I want to do that. Working with Massachusetts primary and secondary school systems, the Mass Air and Space Museum will generate inspiration and encouragement to learning, helping energize kids to choose meaningful careers. It's very important to expose children to all sorts of, of uh, vocations in life, particularly at their formative years when they're it, doesn't, it, it can never be too early for a child to be exposed to everything. Anne Badur is a retired MIT Lincoln Lab test pilot and director emeritus of the Smithsonian National Air and Space Museum. Oh, I think we have tremendous obligation to the new generation, and I think every older generation does. This is, that's our job. We should be influencing the younger generation. We should be telling them that they can do these things and to show them the things that they can do. They should be exposed to lots of different things. In a museum, it, just in one area of aviation, there's, there, there may be 50 different fields that they could be in. 
The Mass Air and Space Museum has received outstanding support from prestigious local industrial and educational organizations. The museum will be a place where Massachusetts technology organizations can showcase their latest developments, from breakthrough software, electronics, and missile systems to flying cars. As one of the busiest airports in New England, Hanscom Field is the ideal location to help achieve the museum's goals. First, Hanscom is located in the geographic population center of Massachusetts. It's on the historic 128 belt of Massachusetts aerospace industry. Public transportation and major highway access make it available to school districts statewide, making it a vital educational resource, especially for the new STEM curriculum of science, technology, engineering, and math. Second, the site's proximity to the Minuteman National Historical Park. Many of the million-plus visitors to Lexington and Concord every year will want to experience Massachusetts' past and continuing contributions to American greatness. Massachusetts' proud aviation and aerospace heritage will soon have a magnificent new asset to assure the promise of a rich aerospace future. The Mass Air and Space Museum will become a spectacular entrance gateway to Hanscom Field. It'll become a distinguished historic landmark reflecting our aviation heritage while inspiring future Massachusetts achievement. We had a very tall cottonwood tree out in the backyard and if it, uh, the leaves had already left the tree I could crawl to the top of the tree and I could see the airplanes flying in and out of Franklin Airport. I carried that passion into building model airplanes. In fact, I, uh, I uh, wrote my high school thesis not only in aviation but basically I prophesied that we would go to the moon. Think of the Mass Air and Space Museum as a large, flying, central classroom surrounded with runways, decorated with history, and alive with potential and possibilities to inspire new pathways for our future. Fly with us to a place where we celebrate our shared past, incubate tomorrow's scientific breakthroughs, and invest in the rich aerospace future of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts.